Maniacs, we made it to Saturday, June 20th. The name of the workout today is Groundhog Day, okay? A little bit of running. I say little, there's quite a bit, a lot, actually. Um, 600 meter run, 50 dumbbell clean and jerks, 400 meter run, 30 jumping goblet squats, 200 meter run with your weight, and then they, going back up the ladder, you have 30 jumping goblet squats, 400 meter run, 50 dumbbell clean and jerk, and then ending with another 600 meter run. Okay, so workout today is gonna definitely be on the longer side, so make sure you're pacing it right from the start. Okay, to warm you up for this, you're gonna do two rounds, 400 meter run, 10 broad jumps, 10 dumbbell push press, and 10 air squats. Okay, so 400 meter run, AKA roughly two minutes of cardio, jumping jacks, rowing, 500 meters, uh, some mountain climbers, high knees, butt kicks, the list goes on and on. Just something that's gonna get your heart rate up for two minutes. Broad jumps, okay? Big focus is gonna be opening up our hips today. I see a lot of people doing broad jumps like this and they never fully open as they jump, okay? So let's make sure on my jump, watch my hips, they open up fully and I stick that landing, okay? Very similar to movements, we wanna make sure we open our hips, okay, all the way. Dumbbell push press, today I have a kettlebell, right? So same thing, just a little different approach with the handle, push press, I'm dipping, driving. Good lockout, up overhead. 10 reps, five each arm, okay? And then air squats, warming up those legs. There you have it, okay? So two rounds of that bad boy. Uh, so, Groundhog Day itself. 600 meter run, 400 meter run, okay? Treat that as a time domain. So if you're not running today, maybe treat it as a row, go 750 and go 500 meters for the 400 meter run. Um, otherwise, jump rope, jumping jacks. Uh, you could do burpees, if you didn't do enough burpees yesterday. Just something to get the heart rate up. Uh, before you get to the dumbbell or kettlebell movements, okay? Uh, dumbbell clean jerk. Again, I have a kettlebell. We're gonna go from the ground to our shoulder, then up overhead. Okay, two-step process. One, two, okay? Uh, dumbbell is pretty easy to transfer, alternating hands. Kettlebell is a little tougher. Uh, no right or wrong whatever you feel is best for the cleaning jerks, okay? Jumping goblet squat, this should be the fun one, right? I don't expect you guys to leave the ground too, too much. Just think about a jumping air squat itself. If this is actually too hard for you, that is gonna be my recommendation. Just a basic jumping air squat, okay? The jumping goblet squat, Whew, I'm glad I grabbed the light weight, okay? I'm gonna jump. up out of that squat, okay? Big one with this, just doing those three reps, I'm noticing, as soon as I got out of that squat, if you do not brace, going back down into that next squat, you are bound to roll forward, okay? So as I jump, I'm bracing my stomach to then land back into my air squat, okay? Uh, big one, the running with the weight, okay? It says run. It also doesn't give a suggestion on how to carry that weight, okay? Any way you want. Maybe you want to hold it in the front rack, goblet style, or maybe just a classic sway it on out to the side, suitcase, farmer carry style. Big one is gonna be bending the knees a little bit. More I bend the knees, quicker I can move forward as opposed to standing tall and locking out my knees, okay? Bending the knees a little bit. Big thing is going to be your posture with your shoulders. Yes, we wanna bend our knees. I can still keep my posture up straight. I don't wanna be rounded. Don't wanna be leaning one way or the other, okay? Keep that belly nice and tight, okay? This should be a fun one, right? Jumping goblet squats, we don't really do ever. Um, so new movement for us today. Groundhog Day should be a good, uh, good weather, good Saturday. Have 